Okay, so this is my eyeshadow palette drawer and there are also singles and quads and stuff in there as well. But as you can see, it's an absolute mess. I've always like been so proud of how well I've kept this drawer and lately it's just completely gone to crap and taken over and there's just too much makeup in here for anyone to even enjoy, let alone use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna completely remove everything from this drawer and go through every single product with you guys. Really ask myself why I have this, am I going to use it and could somebody else appreciate it more? So um, yeah, let's get started. I'm just going to completely remove what's in here at the moment and I'll speed this part up for you guys. Okay, so I've just cleaned out the drawer with some anti-back wipes and all of my palettes are now on my bed. I think the best way to start this is to put back in the palettes that I know I really want to keep and really love because that way the hard part is going to be, you know, getting rid of the bits and pieces that I'm not quite sure about. And I also want to get rid of stuff that I know if I use in videos you guys won't be able to find in store. You know, stuff that's limited edition, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to firstly put back into my drawers the palettes that I'm really, really loving right now. This is just, oh sorry, there's like a plane going by. <laughs> this is just a cardboard box from a PR delivery that I got. They use a lot of boxes and cardboard and stuff in our deliveries, so I try and reuse them as storage where I can. I'm going to wipe down all of the palettes before I put them back in, but I'm not going to show you that process because we'll be here all day with you just watching me cleaning my palettes. <laughs> this is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, love this. These are my Too Faced palettes. We have the Chocolate Bar and the Peach palette. I really like both of those. Have the Urban Decay Naked Heat and Original Naked palette. I'm gonna keep those two. I also wanna keep the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. This looks so well loved, it needs a good clean. I even dropped foundation on it. You can see there on the red eyeshadow. That's how you know a palette's being used. <laughs> This is the Urban Decay Distortion Palette and I recently used this black in a tutorial and I love it so much that I'm gonna keep the whole palette and try out the whole palette. This black was insane. It's in my most recent Smoky Eye tutorial, so I'm gonna keep this. Noticing a lot of warm toned palettes here. This is the Tart, um, Tartlet Toasted Palette. I really like this. Tart eyeshadows are great, so I'm gonna keep that. Also the Tartlet in Bloom. This is more cool toned, which is good. So we have some variation. And I think you can get all of these palettes still. None of them are limited edition, which is what we want. Maybe not the peach palette, but I have a feeling they're gonna bring that back again. This is the Narcissist Wanted palette. I really like this. Again, it's got some really great neutral and warm tones in there. NARS is one of the only brands that I allow myself to actually collect from. So when things are really limited edition, I'm going to start getting rid of them because again, if I use them in tutorials, you guys aren't gonna be able to get them always, so once I've used them once, it's really nice to pass them on to a new home. But NARS, I've always collected NARS products. I absolutely love NARS. It's a brand that just still gets me so excited to this day. So it's one brand that I'm gonna allow myself to collect. You have to allow yourself some kind of leniency. You can't just be too strict and give away everything. If something still sparks joy with you, keep it. So NARS definitely still sparks joy with me, so I'm going to keep some of their limited edition stuff. Oh, I just moved my ring light. This might not be the best organized setup for them now, but it's just easy to put them in consecutively now. I've decided I'm gonna take them all out at the end and wipe them instead of in between um, explaining to you because <laughs> it's just going to be really long and a lot of memory space on my memory card. This is the Stila Spirit Eyes Are The Window palette. I wanna keep this, I did a tutorial on this, I think it was a Gigi Hadid tutorial, and it's still out as far as I know, you can still get this. It's such a great palette, I wanna keep that. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Shimmer palette, so I wanna keep that. Haven't used it too much yet, but I really like it, it swatches really nicely. I'm kind of moving into more territory of should I, should I not keep right now, so we're gonna have a little bit more contemplation over the next few bits. This is the Kat Von D. 
Um, Saint and Sinner eyeshadow palette. This has some really unusual colors in. As you can see, it's super colorful, but it does have some neutral tones as well. This isn't something that I would normally gravitate towards, but I think it's really nice to have a vibrantly colored palette in your collection in case you want to do those kind of looks. And you know, every now and then I do venture into color. So I'm going to keep this because I do love Kat Von D eyeshadow and it's certainly a nice colorful one to keep. Okay, I have this many Zoeva palettes. Zoeva is such an incredibly diverse brand with great eyeshadows and color palettes, but it's really affordable in terms of, you know, how eyeshadows go. So I really love having these palettes. I'd be quite reluctant to let go of any of them because I think if I use them in tutorials, you guys will be able to afford to buy them and there's a great range of products and they're quite accessible around the world I think as well in Sephora and stuff. So I'll try and narrow it down a bit but I have a feeling I'm not going to want to. <laughs> so these are the Spectrum palettes. One of the only things that I really don't like is that they get really fingerprinty, kind of like the matte NARS packaging. Um, but all the same, they're great palettes. So this is matte Spectrum, warm Spectrum, cool Spectrum and nude Spectrum. So the matte Spectrum is a colourful palette. You can see I have not touched that yet. But again, it's good to have these kind of things on hand for looks. And it's very rare that you get like an all matte palette. So I'm going to keep that aside for now and see how I feel about it at the end. Next is the Warm Spectrum palette. And to be honest, after looking through all of the palettes that I already put aside um, in here and the amount of warm colours that I have, really nice warm tones as well, this just doesn't do anything for me. I think it's a very oddly mixed palette and there are some matte shades here, light shades that are so similar. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of that one. I definitely think it could go to a better home considering the amount of similar shades I have there that I like better. So we'll get rid of that one. And then we have the cool and nude spectrum. So this is the nude spectrum and I already think <laughs> just by looking at it that this palette is so much better than the Warm Spectrum. It's a lot warmer even, I think. That's really quite nice. I really like all these kind of shades here. And this is the Cool Spectrum. I don't know, this doesn't really do anything for me. I would like to have, you know, some cool toned shades in my collection, but I don't know if this is the palette. What I might do is put that aside with the other Zoeva palette until the end and see how I feel about it then. For now, I'm going to keep the Nude Spectrum because I think that's such a great price for the amount of shadows you get in it. So in terms of the other smaller Zoeva palettes I have, I'm going to try do them by putting them up against palettes that are very similar to each other. So this is the Naturally Yours palette and this is the Basic Moment palette. Neither of them are super duper exciting. They're both very simple, natural, nude kind of palettes, which, which is exactly, you know, what they're supposed to be. I definitely don't think I need both of them. I think they're very similar and I also have very similar shades. I think this one here, I can replicate a bit more through other palettes, um, more so than this one. I really quite like these shades here. They're very interesting. So I'll keep that one for now. I'm going to keep the Naturally Yours palette and Get rid of the Basic Moments palette. These are two of my favorite Zoeva palettes ever. It is the Caramel Melange and the Cocoa Blend palette. I think I did tutorials on both of them and really loved them. They're really, really nice. So this is the Caramel Melange, which would remind me actually of the Naked Heat palette quite a bit. The shades are different, but I don't know, it just gives me that kind of vibe. So these are the two palettes beside each other, Caramel Melange and Cocoa Blend. You can see the differences there. They actually are more different than I thought. But what shades do I use? This obviously you can see is kind of well loved and I just dug my finger into it. I quite like both of these palettes. They're just so me. I might leave them down for a second and pick up the next two and see how we go with those. So this is the Rose Golden palette and the shades in this are similar but they're slightly less intense. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. So this is the Zoeva on taupe palette. It's even hard to see the colors in this kind of lighting, but yeah, I think I'm going to keep this for now because I don't really have anything else like it. These super cool kind of contoury gray silvery shades. Yeah, it's definitely not something I have a lot of. This is definitely unique in my collection, so I'm going to keep it for now. 
and going to also keep these two palettes for now, the two Zoeva ones. Okay, we haven't got onto the hard parts yet, guys. We're still, these are like the eyeshadow palettes I knew I was going to want to keep. We still haven't got onto the really hard parts yet. The hard parts are going to be a lot of the smaller eye quads. Oh my god, I just found my Lorac Pro palette, which I used to love. Oh my god, I, ha I literally haven't even touched this or seen it in so long. I'm going to give this up because I have so many shades like it in all of those other palettes which are also cheaper and I think one of my friends would really love this. Next I have the Anastasia Prism palette and I have not used this yet and I wasn't really intending on keeping it but because I've fallen so in love with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette I'm actually really keen to try this now. It's got quite random shades in it but if you kind of like block out the acid wash kind of um neon here and maybe like you know this color it isn't as out there as you think it's just that shade there really puts me off so when you block that out it's actually got some really cool tones this forest green is beautiful and not something i'd gravitate towards so yeah i'm excited to try this out and then if i don't like it i'll you know give it to a better home but for now she's gonna stay because yeah i really like the formula of anastasia eyeshadows I found another Zoeva palette. This is the Zoeva Ar Aristo palette. This is very, very new. I haven't had a chance to try this. Hmm. I might put that aside with the other two Zoeva palettes I've put to the side over here and revisit it at the end. It's really cute, but I need to kind of see what else I have. I just looked at my bed and saw both of my Chloe Morello palettes. These are the collaborations she did with Ciate, and I'm so proud of her. Oh, I'm just so proud of her. She did such a good job picking out these shades. I'm definitely going to keep these. I don't want them to go anywhere. I really love the tutorial I created with this palette as well. I'll, um, I'll try and link all the tutorials that I'm talking about um, in the description but if not you should be able to find them really easily by searching them on my channel or searching them in the search bar but yeah I'm definitely keeping Chloe's palettes because I just I don't know I find it really inspiring having these in my hand and you know knowing that my friend did this it's so cool I'm just gonna put these down here. This is another Zoeva palette. This is the Opulence palette. It's brand new. I haven't used it, and I think I'm definitely going to keep this. Actually, now that I look at the two Zoeva palettes together, this is the Aristo, and this is the Opulence. The Aristo, oh no, sorry, the Opulence one on the bottom appeals to me so much more. So I'm going to get rid of the Aristo and keep the opulence. This is very like the Kim Kardashian blue and I love this matte red shade. This is a beautiful taupey silver as well. Yeah, this, this palette definitely does a lot more for me than the other one. So keep that one and give away the previous one. I don't know how I manage this, but I somehow have two of the same Nude by Nature palette. So I'm definitely gonna give one of them away and keep one. This is a great drugstore palette to have on hand for when I'm doing drugstore videos for you guys. This is the Shu Umura Fresh Nudes palette. I have not touched this yet. It's a really, really nice palette. I love all of the shades, they're so wearable. I feel like you could get such good use out of this on an everyday basis and all of the quads kind of and lines work in different ways. But I just don't know if I'm going to be reaching for it. Would it be silly of me to keep this? There are a couple of shades that I don't have, you know, similar ones to. Like this kind of orangey color, this silver. I don't have a good silver. And it's really nice. That's very pigmented. It's a beautiful coral as well. Hmm. I haven't tried much of their products though, and I'm really curious too. So I might keep that for now and have it in the I need to try this before I give it away pile. <laughs> this is a, another Shu Mirror palette and I'm going to give this one away because I have so many of these kind of reds and browns already. This is the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I really really liked this palette but now that I'm seeing all of the Zoeva palettes that I have, the Tarte ones and even the Naked Heat palette, this one just kind of doesn't really do anything for me now. It's a great palette to travel with in terms of having cool tones and warm tones in one. And if you're a matte eyeshadow wear, amazing. But I don't think that I need to keep it just simply because I like it. I think I just have so, so many things that will do the same job. So I'm going to be, oh, I just knocked the camera. I'm going to be a good girl and 
give this to a better home. I'm also going to give the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette to a better home because even though these shades are stunning, this palette is limited edition and even if I use it and it's great, nobody's going to be able to get it eventually. So I think if I just give it to a better home right now, it would be really good. But yeah, they're, it's a very unique palette. The shades are super cool, but I think it's for a very particular kind of taste. I also have these three palettes from Pixie, and one of them is my friend Chloe's palette, which is blusher, eyeshadows, eyebrows, you know, it's got a bit of everything in, and I definitely want to keep that, but I might not put it in this drawer because I really want to kind of set aside all of my face multi-use palettes in another drawer. Now that I have so much, I think it might be good to actually have a separate face palette drawer. So I'm going to put that aside, but I'm keeping that. But these other two collaboration palettes, I think I'm going to give them away because they're really lovely. The pixie, you know, shadows and stuff are great, but I don't feel the need to hang on to these because I have Chloe's one. And also these shades aren't very unique. You know, if you're a super big fan of these girls and you really like the pixie stuff, that's great. But in terms of keeping it for my collection, I think it would just be wasteful. So I'm going to give these to a better home. This is the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. I think you can still get this. I think this is a permanent line. I'm not quite sure. This is a great big neutral palette. I don't actually have a lot of palettes with this many shades in. This would be really good when I'm traveling. And I do quite like the um, Too Faced formula, especially, you know, in the chocolate bar and peach palette, peach palette, I don't know what they're called. Um, yes, yeah, so I think I'm gonna hang on to this for sure. I just, I can see myself traveling with it for sure. This is the Ciate, um the Pretty palette, and I think I'm going to give this away, again, just because the colours don't blow me away and I've got so much like it, and because I have all of my Chloe Ciate palettes, I just don't feel the need to keep this, and I haven't even touched it, so it'd be nice to donate. This packaging is sick, though. The blinking eye is really cool. Ciate have stepped up their game. Oh my god, this was one of my first favourite palettes ever. This is my Stila in the Light palette. Oh my god. This shade Kitten is the first thing that I ever tried that is a very similar formula to the Becca highlighters. It's the only thing that compares in butteriness and in uh, reflect. I think it's an incredible, incredible formula and shade. Oh, I really don't want to give this palette away. It is so nostalgic for me and I absolutely love it. But I think it's seen its day on YouTube. I don't think it'd be something that um, would be worthwhile kind of doing a tutorial on anymore. And as much as I love it, I think I'm going to give it to one of my girlfriends who would absolutely use the crap out of it because, yeah, it needs a good home. It's such a good palette. Yeah, and I'm keeping my Stila one here as well, so, yeah. Oh, I'm so sad to see this go. It's so nostalgic for me and I love it, but, yeah, she needs a new home. I just received this model's own cheat day palette, which is really cute, but I just can't see myself reaching for it in the next few weeks, and I think that it's limited edition. Limited edition, oh my god, if I have to say limited edition once more. Yeah, I don't see myself using it on camera or reaching for it in the next um, few weeks, so I think I'm going to give this to a better home. It's got some really nice browns and stuff in there. I'm also going to give away this um, model's own palette because this was limited edition and I didn't get around to using it and now that it is winter in Australia, this is a very summery, like, cream formula for summer palette. So I think... Yeah, I'm not going to get to use it on camera and it deserves a better home. Look how cute that packaging is though. All the water droplets and stuff. I think that's really nice. Oh, I, I feel like I'm really starting to get rid of some stuff now, which is awesome. This is the model's own Barely There palette and this is a gorgeous drugstore kind of priced product. I have a feeling this is permanent. If it's permanent, I'll keep it. If not, um, I'm going to give it away. So this is something I'll need to check off camera. So this is the Smashbox. Draw In Decked Out Shadow Contour and Blush Palette. This is beautiful. You have um, a banana powder contour and slightly warmer contour, blushers and some really nice neutral eyeshadows. This palette is so stunning, so, so stunning, but I just don't see myself using it. I feel like it would be rude of me to keep this. I have so many bronzers, contours, blushers, like I have drawers full of them and all these colours I have in different eyeshadow palettes and also even though all together you would think this would be good for travelling, the packaging is actually quite hefty. 
it's tough, which is good for traveling, but it's quite heavy. So I think this might be something that I don't need to keep. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. But I definitely think one of my friends would lose their life over this palette and just adore having this and would make so much better use out of it. So I'm going to give that away. This is the Smashbox Shape Matters Eyes Palette. I don't think this is a limited edition, but I might have to check that off camera. I really like this palette, it looks great. It has such a good range of mattes. I think I'm gonna keep this if it's not limited edition. I'll have to check that though, because sometimes with hashtags and stuff, that means it's limited edition and, oh my God, I, can't, I actually can't say the word limited edition once more. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna put this aside in the I need to check online where it's being sold. Actually, this one, I need to check if this one is limited edition or not as well. This is the Urban Decay Troublemaker palette, another gorgeous palette that I don't know whether it's limited edition or not. These two kind of browns are like two of my favorite stock standard need them in my collection kind of browns and this cranberry and this, oh my god, I'm talking myself into keeping it, but I just know I have these shades elsewhere. If it's limited edition, she's going. If she's not, she's staying. That's actually a good way to do this because if it is limited edition, I can just say, no, it's not gonna work for you guys in the future. Okay, so this is the Urban Decay Vice palette. As far as I know, this is limited edition. I really, really loved this. I went in on this shade here, went in on this shade here, really loved it when it came out, but I think this can go on to a better home now. As far as I know, it's not in stock anymore. So one of my friends will definitely get some use out of that. This one is more new to me. This is the Urban Decay Beauty with an Edge eyeshadow palette. This is really unusual because it's full of shimmers. You have a mirror there you can probably see yourself in. I hope you can't see me because I look awful. And I don't have any of these type of shades, like even this kind of chartreuse goldy green color, I have nothing like that. I, I do have replicas of these kind of shades here, but I think this side is unique enough for me to hang on to it for, you know, some different looks that I create. So I'm gonna hang on to that. This is brand new. I think I just received this in a goodie bag, but I think I already have it. Yeah, this is the Kat Von D eye shimmer palette. Yeah, that's brand new, hasn't been touched, so I'm gonna donate that. This is the Tarte Clay Play Palette. This is quite new, it smells amazing, it smells really chocolatey. It's got contour, um, face shades, and eye shades in. A really great matte palette. I used it the other day and liked it, so I'm gonna keep that, but I'm gonna put it in a face drawer, actually. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful limited edition Bobbi Brown palette. I told you guys I love collecting NARS. Bobbi Brown is another thing that I really love collecting but oh my God, I'm gonna have to be strict with myself and get rid of some of it because I do have a lot of Bobbi Brown. This palette is so gorgeous. It is the New York collection. Oh my God, it's got such a nice quad and cheek shade in it, but I think, yeah, I think it's time to say goodbye because I just know I'm not going to like travel with this palette in particular. So, oh my God, look how cute the illustrations are. I absolutely love this, but I just know one of my friends would lose their shit over it and just, adore it and give it a good home so and get rid of that. We have some more limited edition Bobbi Brown. This is the Grage palette and I freaking loved this when it came out. I did a tutorial and everything but it was super limited edition and I also have this which is very similar. Let me show you. So these are in the permanent collection. They're all really cool tone greys, great for contouring and shading and you can see how similar they are. I actually recreated this palette to replica this one because I knew this was limited edition and that I would want to be able to have access to those shades permanently and be able to tell you guys what shades you could use that would be similar to these, if that makes sense. So I'm going to get rid of the limited edition one and keep the palette that has the permanent shades in. Oh my God, I lost my breath there, I need a drink. <laughs> okay, so I recently received these little Smashbox um, quads or trios, yeah, they're trios. And I think I'm gonna give these away because I do, I am keeping this um, Smashbox palette in here somewhere I put one in. Yeah, I'm keeping another Smashbox palette that has a lot of mattes and stuff, and I don't really travel with quads or quads or gravitate towards quads. So even though these look super nice, I'm going to give those a better home. And they're all unopened as well, so great for donating. This is a Mecca Max palette. This is really, really nice, and it's from the Mecca Maxima collection. 
in Australia. Everyone's raving about this and I love trying new things that are, you know, affordable but apparently have a really good rep as well. So we'll keep that one. This is my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. One of my favourite palettes of all time. I've gone through one of these already. It's one of the only eyeshadow palettes I've ever gone through. Sorry if I sounded weird there, I was rubbing my nose. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to let this go, believe it or not, because I was using it the other day in a tutorial and I think it's just gotten old. Like you can see, it's very battered and bruised. The shadows just weren't pigmented. They weren't coming out right, so I think it's actually gone off. Very unusual. None of my eyeshadow palettes ever really get to that point, but this is really well loved and I guess I've traveled so much with it and stuff that it's got had a lot of air get to it. You know, that's the one thing about these kind of palettes. A lot more air gets to them, so the product is more likely to um yeah, go off, I guess. So, I'm going to let this go. I think this actually needs the bin, which is very sad. I do love this palette though, a great, great eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh, this is another Bobbi palette. This is the Bobbi Brown Deluxe Eye and Cheek Palette. Look how gorgeous that is, but look how similar those shades are to the ones that I have in this palette. Oh no, this palette here. Let's have a wee look. Yeah, very cool. Oh my God, this ring light is gonna kill me. Yeah. They're very, very cool toned browns and mattes and stuff. So I think I'm going to give this up and also blushers, like I have an entire blusher drawer. So the likelihood of me reaching for a blusher that's in an eye set is very slim. So keep, throw. And by throw I mean donate for sure. Obviously I'm not going to just put that in the bin. Oh my God, this Bobbi Brown stuff is breaking my heart to give away. But again, we're trying to be clever here. So this is the Bobbi Brown Chocolate Selection Palette. I love this. This is so nice, but you can see you have those really matte tones or matte shadows with cool tones. That's just so similar to what I already have. It does have a cake liner there though. Yeah, these are um, cake liners, which basically you wet the brush and use them then as liners, which is really nice. That's actually kind of making me think twice about giving away this palette because I don't have cake liners in those shades. Maybe I could put this in my eyeliner drawer rather than my eyeshadow drawer and I'd be more likely to use these ones. <laughs> and I do like to use cake liner styles more than liquid. I might put that in the maybe pile with the Zoeva stuff. This is the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. I think I got one of the good formula ones. I was very lucky, but yeah, I think this is gonna go. Don't need to keep that. Next are the um, Marc Jacobs palettes. I love these. These are so, so, so good. Look how used this one is. I am legit obsessed. Can you see them all there? Yeah, I'm definitely keeping the blue because look how unique that is. That's freaking stunning. This is one of my most used favorite palettes right now, so she's staying. Again, this purple is so unique and I love how they kind of built each palette around one strong shade and then all the shades that would complement it, but you could also wear them alone. The formula is ridiculous as well. And by ridiculous, I mean ridiculously good. And this color palette is so unique in my collection. As you can see by everything I've already shown you, I have nothing else like this. I think I really need to whip this out and do a tutorial. Oh no, we have a little spill. Yeah, I'm keeping that for show. Sure. I think there's another one somewhere. I knew there was another one hiding somewhere. Again, I love this. I used this the other night when I was um, speaking at a panel. I wore these shades. Like, I think it was like these four here and I loved it. I actually filmed that. I completely forgot that I filmed that. Yeah, I must upload that. And um, this pink is very unique. She's staying, honey. Marc Jacobs is lit, like, watch out. Next I have two um, Tom Ford palettes. This is Honeymoon. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time. Look how used that is, I need to give it a good wipe, but this is stunning. The shades look very similar to some other um, shades I have in the other palettes, but there's something about these ones that just really stands out. I wore this all over the eye 
for Chloe's wedding actually. That's a that's another look that I keep meaning to film for you guys because so many of you liked it. But yeah, I wore this all over the eye basically on its own and so many people commented on it, but it's just one eyeshadow. So that has to stay. They're so unique and pretty. This palette I haven't touched much. This is the last dance palette, but this is really unique and I definitely need to dip into this another day. Maybe if I do a look mixing that one and the Marc Jacobs one together. So you've all of those really unique, cool toned, bluey greeny shades. Tom Ford is staying. Like I was saying previously about Bobbi Brown and NARS, Tom Ford is another one I really struggle to let go of. NARS, Bobbi Brown, Tom Ford, oh, they are my weakness. Weakness. Next is this freaking beautiful palette that I can't open from Guerlain. Look at this. Guerlain is so luxury. And look at this. Like, that is stunning. This, however, is limited edition. It is the... Palette Eau et Blush Mervais. I think it was um, a Christmas palette, potentially. Yeah, so I'm gonna get rid of this simply because like, I know one of my friends will die over this. It's just so luxury and there's just no point creating like a look based around this alone. The only time it's really good to create like a look based around something limited edition is when you can get in there before it actually sells out. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, I'm just discovering so much more stuff that I don't wanna let go of. These are my Charlotte Tilbury palettes. You guys will have seen me use them so many times. I've done multiple tutorials, I think, on all of these. I have not touched them in ages, but I just looked at them there and got so excited. I can't wait to use these again. It's really like, yeah, I completely forgot they were there, I guess, because of so much. I'm definitely gonna keep all of these. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give away any of my Charlotte Tilbury singles because I just don't see myself reaching for the singles. So I'm gonna see if I have any more singles. How many times can you say singles? Hmm, I can't find any more singles now. I definitely had more Charlotte singles. I think I gave them away to my sister though. But I did find this gorgeous Tom Ford single. I love this, but I'm actually going to give it away because I just don't see myself reaching for a single. And I have so many shades like it. Can you believe it? I'm about to give away Tom Ford. This is, yeah, I don't even know what shade it is. It's stunning, but she needs to go. These two singles need to go. Okay, now some MAC palettes. This is the Burgundy Times 9 palette. Love this, still in stock. All the shades are accessible. Definitely keep that one. This is the Tropic Cools Time 9, Times 9 palette. This looks like the Marc Jacobs one, doesn't it? Hmm, let me see. Oh, except for we've got some more like blues. They're actually quite different now that I look at them. Hmm, I might keep that because at least the shades are still in stock and can be, you know, definitely bought all year round, which is what we want. This one, however, this is the Kabuki Magic Collection. These are freaking gorgeous, but I'm just going to give them away because it was a very limited edition collection. Oh my lord, this is... A, another Guerlain palette. It's a duo called Ecrin Chalimar. Oh, how lugs. Lugs? <laughs> lugs, I mean. Look at these two shades. Actually, that's... How is that swatching? Oh, it's not super duper pigmented, but this gold is really nice. It's kind of a duochrome. That's why it's not swatching the same. It's a duochrome. It's like a purple slash blue. That's actually very unique. And that gold is so buttery, it feels like a highlight. I think I would need to wet my brush with that blue for sure. Hmm. Realistically, considering the blues I've already kept, I think maybe this one has to go. It's so stunning, but it can definitely get a better home. Two palettes I just spotted that I'm going to give up. This is the Chosunga 22 palette. Um, this is, again, it's a gorgeous palette with great shades, but considering what I've already kept, I'm not going to reach for this. And it's a harder to get brand. I think it's a Korean brand. And this CoverGirl palette, yeah, it's a good affordable palette, but I just don't see myself reaching for it. In comparison to the drugstore ones I'm going to keep. So those two can have a new home. I have a tower of eyeshadow palettes up on my thing that I'm... <laughs> Thing might fall. I really need to watch that. Next are these two Hourglass eyeshadow palettes. This is the Obscura and the Graphite palette. These are so unique in terms of 
how the product is created and pressed. These are like a work of art. I created um, an hourglass makeup tutorial, I think it was, with this one here and loved it. Definitely want to keep that. It's such a gorgeous palette. I know they don't seem super unique in terms of, you know, what I already have, but I just think Hourglass just kills it with um, ingenuity and innovativeness. So I'm going to kill them, because, kill them? <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to keep them because I just find that kind of stuff very inspiring. This is a MAC quad that is, it says point and shoot. I don't even remember getting this. I thought these were more like brow shades. This it would be a good brow shade, but these two definitely not. When I see it in the ring light, it's so much different to how it looked outside of the ring light. I have so many brow powders that look like this though, so I think I'm gonna give this one a new home. These are the Rimmel Magnify palette. Really, really good selection of colors for a drugstore. So I'm gonna keep them for when I wanna do drugstore um, videos for you guys. Oh, there's a hair. Oh no, don't fall. I definitely need to start um, reorganizing this. This Magnifies palette is um, a smaller one, but I definitely think the shades are in the other one. So I'll give this one away. This L'Oreal palette, um, and I, it has a sister palette somewhere in my drawer that I cannot see right now. Hmm, or maybe my sister took it, I'm not sure. But I've already done a tutorial on this. I think I'm gonna give this one away, and if I do feel like I need it again for a drugstore video, you know, it's not something that's gonna absolutely break the bank to repurchase, but sitting here, you know, having it go out of date and go off is just silly, so I'm gonna give that away. This is the By Terry Eye Designer palette. This is really pretty. Not something I would reach for though, so I'm gonna give that away. Next I have this um, Armani palette. I love this. It says, I love Armani. The packaging is kind of retro looking. It's really cute. It has some kind of unique cool tone shades and powders in here. So I'm gonna keep that and give it a go. Armani powders are stunning. So I'm gonna keep this, but put it in a face drawer. This Too Faced totally cute palette is really pretty, but I'm gonna give this away. I did use it um, a little bit when I got it, but I think it was super limited edition, so gonna get rid of that. Look at all the stickers and everything. <laughs> if you like that kind of cutesy stuff, it's very pretty. These are my Nude by Nature eyeshadow palettes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep those because they're really nice neutral shades. This is the Benefit Big Beautiful Eyes palette. I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but I freaking loved this palette. I used to wear this every freaking day. Has a concealer and um, a brow powder shade slash, you know, eyeshadow shade and then these two shimmers. I swear I used to use this every day but I haven't picked it up in so long. Yeah, I think they do sell it but yeah, it could do with a better home now, I think. Bow show. God, I used to use this all the time. This is the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in the shade All Spice. It's a sparkle eyeshadow. This is gorgeous. Gonna keep that. I also really love these Bobbi Brown singles. Um, this is Camel, one of the most unique, incredible shades. It looks so boring and simple, but this shade is amazing. And I have, I think it's Black Plum. I love this. I actually used these all in a tutorial. And this is the shade Taupe. Yeah, so I wanna keep all of those singles. I really, really like them. This is a palette from Givenchy. It is the Couture Atelier palette. I don't get this palette, to be perfectly honest. I love Givenchy, but this is a very couture. Yeah, I guess that's the problem. It's a very couture palette. It's a really random mix of shades that you're supposed to apply with a sponge in a sweeping motion across the eye. And even though that's really cool and really runway inspired, I just won't see myself, you know, reaching for it. I think these shades could be used singularly by someone else. I'm going to donate that. I actually gave away all of my limited edition Dior palettes lately. I think this might be the only one I have left. Possibly one or two more, but I really like this one. I'm going to keep it. I think I was so good to give away all of the limited edition ones, especially when it's Dior, but I just, yeah, I think I'm allowed to keep one for sure. <laughs> It's so funny because I'm decluttering for you guys now, being really harsh at myself. But this is a declutter after the declutter. I've already given away so many palettes over the last month. I always give them away kind of as I go, but particularly over the last month or so, I've given away so much. So to even be decluttering on top of that, I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> I kept this single Dior eyeshadow. This is the shade Fire. That is stunning. And that is a beautiful swatch. 
I remember like putting all of my Dior palettes beside each other and really struggling to get rid of all of them. This one, I think I'll still keep. It is beautiful and I know I got rid of so much Dior already that I'm allowing myself, oh, don't fall out. I'm allowing myself to keep this one. Yeah, that's gorge. These are my two Clinique palettes. This is Teddy Bear. Yeah, Teddy Bear and Jenna's Essentials. <laughs> oh my God, I'm actually losing the will to speak. Um, I really like both of these palettes. When you need a capsule makeup palette, palette, oh my God, I actually can't speak. When you need a capsule makeup bag and you just need a couple of eyeshadows in a really small makeup bag in your handbag, these are so good for just throwing a quick eye together. I did, I think I did makeup tutorials on both. So if you look up my Clinique makeup tutorials, you'll see them there. I'm definitely going to keep both of those. Oh, I don't know why I keep all these little brushes because I never use them, but I feel bad throwing them out. This is a quad of Anastasia Singles. I'm going to keep this because I haven't tried it yet. I recently just received it. And because I'm loving the Modern Renaissance palette so much, I can only imagine that these shades will be awesome. So I'm going to keep that. This is an Urban Decay Kristen Neon palette. It's untouched, I haven't got around to using it, and although it's very pretty, there's nothing special about this that I would feel the need to keep it, and also it's very limited edition. It wouldn't be fair for me to use in a tutorial. So she's gonna go to a new home. This just came in the mail the other day. This is the Urban Decay Light Beam eyeshadow palette. Keeping that, looks so cool. This is the Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro 1 palette. I think this is permanent stock and it's very affordable, so I'm gonna keep that for drugstore tutorials. Hmm, maybe I should check though. I'll put it in the pile that is it um, permanent or not. Yeah, that's what I'll do. This is another Givenchy palette. Um, this is the La Palette Eclat Nocturnes. This is another like runway inspired palette. It's very beautiful. I love the way it's cut into stars and stuff. But realistically, am I going to reach for this? No, so I think it needs a new home. So hard to say goodbye to Givenchy. We do love you. These are my Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder palettes, or singles more like. And I think she killed it with her collection. The packaging is so heavy and luxe and the shades are really, really wearable. And even though these two are slightly more couture and out there, I still think they're very wearable for couture kind of shades. However, saying that, I'm actually going to let most of these go because it was so limited edition. As much as she killed it with the collection, it's just not something that I think I'm going to be able to use for my tutorials. Look at that packaging. Oh my goodness, this is going to kill me, but this one definitely needs a new home. I love this. That is gorgeous, but isn't it very similar to that single Dior shadow? Hmm, no, it is a bit different. I'm going to keep that one because I just love it and maybe give up this one. It's kind of like a navy blue. Yeah, I'm gonna give up this one because swatched it's not, you know, too special. But it's definitely something one of my friends will love. This is the Urban Decay Back Talk palette. This is brand new, haven't touched it, and I love how it looks. How nice are those three shades? I might actually have to use this in a tutorial. Tutorial, I'm actually losing the will to speak. I actually can't cope. Um, it even has blushers too and a highlighter. I'm definitely keeping this, even though it has face stuff in it. I'm gonna keep it in my eyeshadow drawer though because it's less likely to get lost amongst the crowd. I definitely wanna use that in a tutorial, I think. I found another one of these Smashbox trios. Very, very nice wearable colors, but I'm just not gonna use it so that gets a new home. This is the Urban Decay. Wow, I didn't realize I had so much Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. These are pressed glitters and I think I'm going to keep these because it's not something I have a lot of. I don't have a lot of pigments or glitters and it's really good to have them for when you do want to reach out and do an unusual look. This is a really nice red brown shade. So pretty. Look at that purple. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. This is the Bobbi Brown Beach Glow Sun Kissed Gold Eye Palette. I think I might keep this one. I know this isn't terribly unique in the grand scheme of all my eyeshadow palettes but I've just I've been so good giving away so much Bobby already and I've even given away so much of my limited edition stuff before this clear out this one in particular just oh when you do these over the lid this on the brow bone and then this as a liner it's so pretty it's a really like finished look in a quad so I think I'm going to allow myself to keep that this is a limited edition NARS palette this is the Sarah Moon palette 
But you know what? I think I'm going to actually give this up. In terms of all of the NARS limited edition palettes that I have, this excites me the least. I know that seems weird. <laughs> it's a great neutral palette with an eyeliner that I know one of my friends will die over. So, as much as I love you, NARS, we have to let something go. This is the NARS and God Created the Woman palette. This might not look terribly, you know, interesting to you guys, but this is super nostalgic for me. I went out of my way to get this. I got this the second time it was released, so I think it was released once, then it went away for like a year and it came back, and I went into store like like a proper makeup junkie the day that it was released and got this, and I don't know, there's something about this palette that just reminds me of where I started and how crazy passionate I was. And I was just so willing to spend my money on those really exciting products. And yeah, it just reminds me of the days before I was given everything, you know, and I want to remember how lucky I am. And this palette kind of does that for me. I know that's so weird to have memories attached to makeup, but yeah, makeup is more than just makeup sometimes. I'm actually going to get rid of this Dior single now. I just spotted it to the side in my maybe pile and after seeing some of the other ones I've kept, it just doesn't seem, you know, it doesn't seem something um, out of the ordinary. So one of my friends would love that. This is the NARS, I just got a message, sorry. This is the NARS Hamam, Hamamet, Ham, <laughs> I can't pronounce it, Ham, Ham, Hamamet, <laughs> oh my god, anyway. It's a beautiful palette. I loved this when it came out. Really obsessed with it, but I'm going to let it go. This is the Bobbi Brown Caviar and Ruby's Eyeshadow Palette. And this is actually one of the more unique ones. Um, you've seen from a lot of my Bobbi palettes that they're all very cool tone browns. This actually has a bit of sparkle in it. It has like a burgundy and a blue. Really, really cool. I think I'm going to keep this one. This is the Bobbi Brown Nude on Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my God, I really don't want to give this one up. This is like stunning. I do have all those mattes though. I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile for now. I really don't wanna give that up, it is gorgeous. This is a Tom Ford eye gloss and as excited as I was to receive it, you know, it's just, I'm never ever gonna use an eye gloss. I'm going to actually give this to one of my makeup artist friends who will get a beautiful editorial look out of it for a shoot or something. Oh my god, Bobbi Brown is killing me. Do you think these palettes are all too similar? I'm asking you, but you're not going to be able to reply. Oh my gosh, they are, aren't they? Okay, so this is definitely the most unique. Keep that one. Then I have this one. I'm going to get rid of the quad and keep this one because these warmer nude shades are more unique. And I'm going to keep that one because it's permanent. Oh my god, that was hard. That was one of the hardest either ors that I've done so far. This is the Dolce & Gabbana Rose Garden Palette. I actually used this in an Instagram post recently and it was really cute, so I'm gonna keep that. These are my Bourjois eyeshadow palettes, gonna keep those. Great drugstore products. These are brand new eyeshadow palettes from the NARS Erdem um, collection. I'm not gonna show you them all, but I'm gonna keep those because they are brand new and still in stock. Then I have the Estee Lauder by Violet um, Palette. This is gorge. I haven't actually ventured too much into Estee Lauder eyeshadows, so I'm going to keep that to give the formula a go. This is starting to annoy me now that it's not all organized. Okay, so we have a ton of singles here now, and I never ever ever reach for singles in comparison to eyeshadow palettes, so if these don't make the cut, I'm just going to be really ruthless with them. Oh! No, I love that Burberry shade. <laughs> I know why I've kept that one. That's stunning. I'm going to let go of this Laura Mercier one even though it's one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. I'm gonna let go of this MAC Dazzle Shadow because I have all the Urban Decay ones. I have that color in the Urban Decay palettes. There is my other Charlotte Tilbury single. Gonna let go of that. Oh, this is hard. Gonna let go of the Bare Minerals um, samples because I'm just not going to reach for those in how many eyeshadows I have now. Chantecaille Seashell. Oh my God, that is buttery. I I'm gonna keep that one because I don't have any other Chantecaille. I'm gonna keep both Chantecaille singles for now. Okay, Urban Decay, you go. It's getting very cluttered. Ooh, this model's own um, eyeshadow is so cool. It has a little mixing medium as well. Gonna get rid of the other Ch Chosunga. 22 palette. 
Um, oh, keeping this, this is the MAC um, like magnet. Oh, these are just incredible. They're like magnetic eyeshadows. They're, oh, that just popped off. They're incredible. I can see now why these particular singles are in here. I've decluttered my singles so many times and every time I struggle to get rid of these ones. I'm gonna get rid of this Clarins eyeshadow. It's gorgeous, but I have so many shades like it. This is a really, really unique gold. I'm gonna keep that for Mecha Max because I do wanna try more Mecha Max. I'm going to keep my um, Inglot pigments. Do love those. Oh, my Stila Kitten Single. Okay, I'm gonna keep this because remember how much I raved about the Stila palette and was sad to see it go? Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Another Bare Minerals one. They're all gorgeous, but I just know I'm not gonna reach for them. That's an Armani brush I'm not gonna reach for. This is a pigment. I'm gonna keep pigments because I don't have any of them. These NARS Singles are amazing. They're wet dry formulas. I did um, a tutorial with these years ago. I don't even know if they still stock them. I think I'm gonna have to put these in the pile of, you know, are they still even on sale? But I'm gonna get rid of a few shades even before that. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this one because it's just not standing out to me. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm gonna keep the blue. I'm gonna get rid of this pink. I'm gonna keep this um, green brown, very unique. I'm gonna get rid of this silvery green. I did love this eyeshadow. But yeah, it's not really striking me as incredibly, you know, different now, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And the other ones, I'm gonna check if they're still actually in stock at all. Going to keep my Nude by Nature pigment. Going to keep my Inglot pigment. Gonna get rid of Bare Minerals. I'm going to keep these three CE pigments as well. And then we have one more NARS one. Oh, hold on. I thought I already had the blue. Oh, two different blues. This one is standing out so much more to me. This is more of a blue green and this is like a really intense blue. I actually want to keep them both very unique blues and keep that one. Oh my God, I did so well. These are all going. I'm so proud of myself. Oh my god, this is the last eyeshadow palette. I cannot actually believe that. I've actually gotten rid of so much more than I thought. Wow, okay, this is the Clinique Morning Java palette. I wanna keep that. It's another full eye look in a palette. Great for a capsule makeup bag. And that is it. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. So this entire box is going. And I also have some maybes that are left for the ones that I need to see if they're actually still being sold. But this is like a really big box. This is like half my collection. I don't know about you, but I am seriously proud of myself right now. Oh, actually, I didn't even include those in that box. <laughs> oh, found two more eyeshadow palettes. We have the Tartlet palette, gonna keep that because these were actually on my makeup desk, so they're definitely keeper ones. And this is the Marc Jacobs Glambition, so if they're on my makeup desk, it means I used them in the last week, so they're worth keeping for sure. Where are you gonna fit, mate? Yeah, I'm gonna go back through now and reorganize this, and then I will show you at the very end. My jumper keeps like slipping down. Okay, and this is what I'm left with. I hope you can see. Can you zoom you in there? So I've got, um, it kind of sorted by brand, but I've got so much room in there now that I don't really need to be as um, regimented with how I organize it. It's more kind of just on size and how they all fit in. It's really, really nice to have all this space. I can't tell you enough, but um, yeah, I have Kat Von D, Marc Jacobs, have my um, Anastasia and Too Faced together, you know, you can see there. I've kept out and laid flat two palettes that I want to remind myself to use when they're at the front and I'm reaching for my makeup. I just will remember to use them more. I've kept all my singles together um, down here. I hope you can see that. And then all these little eyeshadow palettes like this. There's a lot of room to move so you can really like flip back and forth between the palettes and things are actually going to get used now as you can see. Oh, my so weave it together and all I have left to put in here are the couple of palettes that I want to check up on to see if they're still in stock. So I'll leave you there. I hope you enjoyed this decluttering. I most certainly did. I feel like 
brand new woman now, brand new shampoo. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the next decluttering video. How do I wave at you? Bye guys. <laughs>